Today's math lesson is lesson five. We are using multiplication to connect volume with packing of cubes and filling with water. So we have a beaker that contains 250 milliliters. So the beaker is 250 milliliters. He wants to pour water into a container that will hold the water. Which of these containers pictured below could he use? So for every single one, we have to calculate its volume and see if it will hold 250 milliliters. So if I am drawing A, it looks like the height is 6, it looks like the length is 12, and the width is 12. So for every single one of these, A included, we got to figure out the volume. And the volume formula is length times width times height. Well, we know that 12 times 6 is 72. And then we just take 72 times 12 to figure out what we would get there. So we're going to have to do some double-digit multiplication. And you should have gotten 874. So that means the volume of A is 874 centimeters cubed. Obviously, that's going to be way too big, but that's good because we, we want to be able to pour the water in it, yes? So the, the beaker contains 250 milliliters of water. Jack wants to pour that water into one of these containers. So will this container be able, can, can we use this container, will it be able to hold 250 milliliters of water? We would say yes to that. And so for all the other problems, you have to do the same thing. Figure out its volume and figure out if it holds 250 milliliters. And to uh, correct myself, in volume we're always talking about cubic units, so this should be to the third power because you're doing the length times the width times the height. So my answer for that one is 874 and yes 250 milliliters will obviously fit in there. The other thing we talked about today is one, one, cub, one cubic centimeter is also equal to one milliliter. That was also a very important part of today's lesson. So if 874 cubic centimeters is equivalent to 874 milliliters. They're equivalent.